We are just about nine miles from downtown Manhattan as EA Sports brings you to MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Tennessee Titans and the New York Jets. Here's the punter, Braden Mann, set to do the honors, and we are underway at MetLife Stadium. Here's Trenton Cannon on the return from his end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Henry again on second down. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. A first down carry for Henry, and they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Now it's Tannehill. They set up the screen for Henry. Uses the stiff arm, and he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. It looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Tannehill. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Well, things are looking pretty darn good on this first drive, aren't they? Came right out, set the tone, this time with a big pass play. And if the peek behind the curtain that they gave us or their game plan, I don't think that's going to be the last one we see. I think you're exactly right about that. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Again, it's Henry. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. It's second and seven from the nine. Second down, here's a run from Haskins. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. It's been a pretty long opening drive. This will be play number 11 coming up on third down. Tannehill. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Woods. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. And he won't get there. 
They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Ready, ready. On first and ten, it's Wilson. He finds Corey Davis. And they'll get him down up past the 15. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Play action. It's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. That one, a first down pickup of eight. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. They'll run for the first time with Brees Hall. Pushes past him. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Hall again on second down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. On first down, right back to Hall. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Wilson. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long. And this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal. Because just a few plays ago, they looked like they were headed towards the end zone. Ready. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. On third down, here's Hall. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Go for it. It's Hall. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. 
Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Over the middle complete, it's Davis. And they're gonna be set up now with the ball at the 13 yard line. Straight ahead is Hall. A five yard gain there makes it first and goal. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. They'll run with Hall. And this carry not as productive. He's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked by Kevin Byard. And the Titans are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. How do you like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you? The Titans' offense set to begin the drive. They begin with Henry. And he'll work this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They'll run it again with Henry. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. The final shot here before the break. Tannehill. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. On first and 10, it's Hall. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 
And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. The defense did its job of taking away a quick throw, but that's only half the battle because they've got to get to him before he can make a run for it. A little bit late containing him there, so he makes a nice gain out of a play that looked like it was in trouble. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. Fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this defense is going to get the football back near midfield, right at the 48. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the hole. And he'll take it across midfield down into Jet territory. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. The tight end in motion right. On third down, Henry. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Tannehill. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by DJ Reed. Oh, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Jets move the chains. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. Now Wilson on first down. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Well, you know me. Whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Throwing again on second and 10. Wilson, Smith catches left side. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with this third down play as we play three. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. Wilson now to throw on third down. Flushed out right. Now this is caught. He hits more. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that's a tough one for the defense because the coverage was good downfield. He was forced to work his way out of the pocket to his right. 
spotted his man on the sideline, and got it to him to pick up the first down on third down. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Zach Cunningham with a pick. And the Titans are going to take over here on the INT at their own five-yard line. Tie game, fourth quarter. You're already in the red zone, well in field goal range. You can't throw a pick there. And you know I want to give all the credit to the defenders, right? I mean, they made a play on the ball. But bottom line, you set up the situation perfectly. You've already got the field goal in the bag. You've got to make sure you take care of the football in that situation. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try to create enough room that if you have to run the punter out there, you can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, it didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Henry up the middle. And Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. They'll run for it with Henry. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And they've been burned twice already on fourth down, but the third time's the charm as they keep the drive moving. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Again, it's Henry. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. Well, the defense only did its job. They held up in that situation. And now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made in my estimation. They snap it to Tannehill. Pass caught by Hooper. Finding room at midfield. A solid stiff arm. There he goes, right side. Touchdown, Titans. Austin Hooper, 76 yards. And the Titans strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth. They do tack on the extra point as well. And it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And we've seen drive after drive come up empty for them, and they've yet to dent the scoreboard, yet still right in the middle of a one-score game. So this is where you absolutely have to forget everything that's happened in your previous drives. They don't matter right now. You just mentioned it. One-score game, this drive here can erase all of what happened previously. Here's Wilson. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. 
The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And they'll get him down right at around the 11-yard line. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. Go. They'll try and run for it with Henry. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, second and 11. They'll give Henry another shot. Shoves him aside. And he's going to battle his way down right around the two-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Trying to punch it in with Henry. What a stand so far defensively, and now that's going to bring up a fourth and goal. They'll run, it's Henry, and he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. Give him a little run pass option and treat it like a two-point conversion play. In this case, they went with a little bit more power and got it done. Tannehill going to throw for it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. It's a squib kick that still makes its way down inside. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 14-yard line.
They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. So this one, a 